Welcome to my channel Living Linux. I missed out on the first batch of the Orange Pi RV2, a RISC V SBC. So I had to wait for the second batch, and there was also a delay with the local delivery service here, but finally it arrived. So let's start the unboxing. And uh, by the way, I bought this with my own money. This is not from a sponsor. So here we have Orange Pi RV2. And it should be the eight gigabyte model. That's because the chip is, let's just say, similar to the SpaceMit K1. And I already have the Banana Pi F3 with four gigabytes of memory. And because it's not uncommon to build RISC-V programs from source, so that means that more memory can be handy. Okay, so it comes with an antenna and so here we have USB 3 on top, USB 2 on the bottom, HDMI, 2 times Ethernet and if I'm correct that's gigabit. 2 times USB 3, USB C for powering it on, and headphone jack. There's a button. Uh, oh, yeah. Here is, uh, I think it's an NVMe slot. I can one of those really small ones. Uh, it's possible to have eMMC, micro SD, and I think here we have another full size 2280 NVMe slot. Uh, well, I never work with MIPI or DSI, so. Not really sure what that is, but uh, I'll uh, put a link in the description of the video where you can look up all the details that I do not mention. So yeah, that's it. The only thing is, is that uh, uh, I asked them on AliExpress if they have a case for it and they said they don't so yeah uh, I'll have to see uh, if I can do anything with that so if this video continues then I was able to put it in a case that I have and if this really is the end then unfortunately I don't have a case where I can put it in so then perhaps in the future I'll try to get a case for it. So let's see if this is all for now or that we'll see you after the break. Well, I have a, let's just say, a modular Raspberry Pi case. And uh, this is really janky. Uh, so there's like 
only one of those screws oops that fits properly and that I also can use one of these side panels to make it a little bit more stable but um, it's slightly longer than a regular Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 so that makes it a bit harder and also the positioning of the holes for the screws they're also different from a regular Raspberry Pi so I also had to remove the fan because uh, I tried it the other way around but yeah that's uh, then I don't have the hole for the screw in the right position so I really hope they will release a case for it uh, because I don't have a 3d printer so I'm not going to do that myself but anyway uh, I guess this will have to do for now it's it's really ugly but it's better than nothing I guess so this this only works let's just say if you have a modular Raspberry Pi case where you can take out those side panels and yep this really is all for now and i'm going to play with the ubuntu image that they released for it so hope to see you to show you that in the next video